Are we about to get Robert Pattinson's wish for the Batman 2? Could we possibly see Clayface appear? A realistic, down-to-earth, gritty Clayface? Are we going to get that in this Matt Reeves sequel? Time is going to tell, but Deadline is reporting that Clayface plays a major role in the Batman 2. This doesn't come as a big surprise to me necessarily. First of all, Robert Pattinson wanted it. A lot of people said, okay, it's definitely going to happen. And a lot of people also said, well, that's hogwash. You know, you can't put Clayface in this Matt Reeves universe and the Reeves versus Batman. You just can't do it. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. A year ago, you can watch, there's a video on this channel from one year ago when there was a casting list uh, announcement out and they had all the cast for the Penguin TV series, which is shooting now for HBO, the Penguin series had a list of, of, of char- no character names, but characters and descriptions of the characters that they were casting. And one of the characters that they were casting was um, it described as an actor who was driven mad when he heard he couldn't participate in the play due to his deformed face. That is the golden age, as they refer to it, the golden age version of Clayface, a deformed facial actor for that, which is a way to get Clayface into. And now, whatever they do with the character, I don't know how far you go with that or how you manipulate it or, or whatever, but that description is of Clayface, and Clayface could appear in the Penguin show, smaller or not, but the minute the Penguin appears, the minute the Clayface appears in the Penguin show, it's fair game now, right? Like, the the, the Clayface can now appear in the movie because the Penguin show bleeds right into the Batman 2. So that makes complete sense. How, but even crazier news now is Deadline, who's reporting all of this, is now saying that Mike Flanagan who uh, made Haunting on Hill House, Blythe Manor. If you haven't seen Hush, it's a great movie. I don't know. Anyway, Mike Flanagan, horror movies, right? James Gunn, big horror guy, wants to do Swamp Thing. It would make sense in a lot of ways for this next one to actually be a little bit plausible too. And as a Mike Flanagan has pitched a clay face movie to James Gunn and Peter Safran. And Deadline is reporting that they have not yet to pass on that movie and it says i believe it's like yeah they haven't done it yet they haven't got around to it there's a pile of of pitches and they just haven't gotten to that one to say no yet now you could argue well this character is going to be in in matt reeves movie it can't be anything else true i suppose but we're getting a joker movie right with harley quinn i you know, you guys think Harley Quinn's still going to be around on the other DC stuff. We're getting Robert Pattinson as Batman. We're getting... I'm, I'm going to take Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck off the table because obviously that's not going to... You know, they're done. But we're getting whatever the James Reed, the James Reed, the James Gunn Batman is. So we're having multiple Batman. So could we potentially have multiple Clayface? Could they do Clayface like the Joker? Could it be an Elseworlds story about Clayface there? If the pitch is strong enough, I mean, I can't see them denying. If the Joker 2 is phenomenal, can they deny a Joker 3 if Todd Phillips shows up and Joaquin Phoenix and they're like, we need to do a third Joker movie? Can they deny it? Like, if if the story and the script and the pitch is that strong, can they can they reject it? Is that that's my feeling is is because they have the they can play with the else worlds, they can play with the multiverse. Why not allow it? But the other thing that's and the other part too is that he's going to play a major part in Batman too. So are people just going to be tired of Clay? Like there's too much Clayface going around because of his role in the Batman too. I look the Batman too. I the Joker two, Batman two are two of my most anticipated movies coming because I, I loved the first one of each of those dearly, uh, and I'm not like I'm not an obsessive fan about them and I'm not kind of like, no, they're mine. They're mine. Don't do anything. It's not like that. It's just what, what are the next steps? I think the Joker one, it, it, it floors me because it's a musical and the Harley Quinn aspect, I think really works with the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, but 
But the Batman too, because of how grounded it was and the, the nature of that is, is where do you take it next, right? So Clayface having a major role sounds great, but what what does a major role mean in the grand scheme of it all? Does it mean the like Penguin obviously didn't have a major role? Would you argue Falcone had a major role? Could it be something a lot like? Could it be a small uh, role to that? Because who's the main villain? Is it Penguin? I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I, Penguin's my favorite Batman film, but I I don't know if Penguin is the main antagonist of the Batman too, or you have someone else. And we've done some videos to discuss who we think it should be, who we would, not who it should be, who we would like it to be. We shouldn't say should be. I hate you can't say who it should be when you don't know what they're doing, but who we would like to see. And the the Mister Freeze one, which a lot of fans want. That one, you know, for me the parallels for that with with Bruce Wayne and the Batman. That one is strong for me. A strong contender uh but it depends on how wacky he wants to go i mean it's not how wacky he wants to go but how how you take a wacky character like clayface or like mr freeze and you kind of strip the wackiness off and you make them who they are and do they go as dark as they did in the first one or the first one was a hit it didn't break a billion bucks but the first one was a hit people liked it riddler you know some people criticize how dark the riddler got do they continue that or do they kind of like pull back a little bit and then you have i hope joker comes back i don't want that joker centric film but i hope we see joker and we see because there is that report from uh, i think it was giant freaking robot who's full of crap anyway but i think there's a report that uh, if it wasn't it was somebody else who hopefully it's true that like paul dan was coming back and all these actors are coming back so that'll be great but let me know what you guys think is clay how do you put Clayface into a batman movie in a big role and would you watch a Clayface centric movie that is from the creator of house of haunting on hill house mike flanagan a horror movie version of clayface i'm kind of i'm all in on it let's do it why not what why not show me what you got it worked for joker let's see if it works for clayface clayface thank you everybody for watching give us a like and a subscribe until next time may you be the masters of your own universe